Y'all, like this is crazy. Yeah, the running theme of this video is summed up in one word, uh-oh. We made a uh-oh or uh-oh this happened. <laughs> you got scammed, girl. The last video, you guys saw me create this butt crack sort of thing with butt in the seams of the wood planks together, and that was a big boo boo. So I'm trying to fix it. I'm working with wood filler to see if it'll work, but I don't know if it is. I'm just trying everything I can to fix it so that we don't have to go back and do more things because the budget is running out for this project as well as the time <laughs> I need to get this done so in the last episode we cut the boards we seamed them up um we it's not necessarily wrong to do this I talked to a contractor who builds decks for a living he was like you can do this and the reason we could get away with doing this is because we did add extra support at the seam if we hadn't have added that extra support at the seam it would have been a big no and it would have buckled eventually and sagged so it was a blessing in disguise that we took the time to create all of those support systems in between that seam because it really saved this project in the long run it's just not ideal to have butt seams for aesthetic purposes so as long as it's structurally sound still i'm fine i can work with what i got and i can try to do some things in order to fix it as long as i can't see the butt crack and i forget i can forget the butt crack is there i'll be a-okay i walk past hidden butt cracks all the time i mean everybody's got a butt crack and it's all being hidden all the time so it, and it doesn't bother me i never think about it if it's hidden so that's what i'm going for that is my inspiration behind me trying to fill in this crack right here if it's hidden and i can't see it out of sight out of mind the wood filler and the sanding seems to have helped a little bit i won't really know until i go to put the solid stain on and i'm going to do a stain test beforehand just to make sure it's not going to look weird on the wood filler but for right now it, it did a pretty good job at bringing the wood pieces together we've got three major projects in today's video that we're going to be working on i'm going to go ahead and tell you guys we're not going to be completing them because one thing happened after another and these videos these monday mansion videos for the most part you'll be seeing beginning to end processes but in things like this deck with stuff like this it's it's virtually impossible to get a from start to finish video and it not be eight hours long so i'm doing it step by step and i'm just showing you guys in real time what exactly we're working on and what we're getting done what we're not getting done things like bedroom makeovers and stuff like that i'm pretty positive that i could get something like that in one video but a project as large as this outdoor deck and the extent we're taking it to like i'm i'm feeling luxurious like not really i mean luxury luxurious on a trailer park budget if that makes sense because i came from the trailer park y'all gotta remember you can take the girl out the trailer park but you can't take the trailer park out of the girl so the three projects i don't know why shane's sniffing grass <laughs> the three projects that we're working on today are these steps we're doing porch length steps and then we're also working on the fireplace some more and the beam slash pillars here you go are you sure that's a nut yeah what kind of nut is this i'm gonna smash with a hammer and see what we get what in the world Oh, what is that? Found the paint up, found the paint up. Found the paint up right now. What is that, Shane? Is it a walnut? No, that's not a walnut. Walnuts are round. Mm -hmm. It's probably a cashew. <laughs> that don't look like a cashew. Are we sure that was a nut? It's a special nut that she found in South America. Shane's made a up a whole story around this daggone nut. <laughs> <laughs> and that this somebody from somewhere planted it in the soil near the house to keep away bad juju. And the only thing we need to keep away bad juju is Jesus. Where? The blood of Jesus over that. That's all you gotta say. You want bad juju away from your house? The blood of Jesus over my house. So I got the seam all filled up. 
and it's looking it's looking pretty okay it's looking pretty all right there are some areas that have bigger gaps where you can tell there's wood filler in it even after i sanded it and reapplied and sanded it again but for the most part the seam is looking pretty okay and i'm hoping i'm going to do a stain test over that stuff to make sure it stains just like regular wood um because like i'm doing a full coverage stain i'm not doing a transparent or transparent or semi-transparent i mean it's it's heavily pigmented so i think it will kind of camouflage the seam once i get the furniture on here and stuff that'll also help conceal it and everything as i mean it's structurally sound so that's really all that matters it's really just a cosmetic issue that i'm worried about but you know i want it to look good james over here playing with spider grass look up here and how much i've already found yeah you're digging up the whole thing blue jeans loves to mess around that stuff and i think that's what makes her sick because every now and then she'll just take a puking spell and it's always after a she's played in that spell. grass it's always after she's playing that grass we're putting down the steps right now it's a little bit tricky we've never put down steps honestly we i don't i didn't even know that they sold like the step shells at lowe's until i passed them one day and i was telling shane we were brainstorming about future porch ideas and i was like we could do those but i knew i wanted to do long steps because the steps are going to go the complete length of this porch so instead of doing two of them we had to do four of them so we got four of these stair shells right here and it's kind of going to be our support for our steps going outwards towards the drive-in driveway i meant so he's over here digging out grass i could help you but i don't have gloves because you have my gloves because you lost your other glove Oh, I didn't lose them. Is that nuts going in there? No, it's rocks. Uh, I didn't lose them. Blue jeans is a thief. Oh, blue jeans is a thief. Blue jeans really does Grand Theft Auto a lot of stuff. She does. She she commandeers it like yeah. Jack Sparrow. I told you guys that you guys get to see behind the scenes in these videos and stuff, but I will do a complete video after we get done with this project because a lot of you guys have DM'd me over on Instagram and I've seen a few comments over here that are asking for like the plans for the fireplace that we've done and plans for the future steps. And I'm gonna do a video, kind of like an overview of beginning to end. And we're gonna add the plans for everything we've done in there. And I'm gonna try my best to figure out, cause I'm not tech savvy, but I'm gonna try my best to figure out how to get those plans onto a PDF so that they're free for you guys to download or print off or something. If not, if not, then I'll find a way to write down the plans and then like type them out and then put them on the screen for you to screenshot. That way you have the plans. They'll be completely free for you to go and play with because Shay and I are not professionals. We are not going to profit off of anything that's not professionally done. And you guys are my friends. I'm not going to sell you something like that. You guys give me knowledge every day for free in the comments. I am not about to sell you something like that. They will be completely free free for you to screenshot or download i'll figure out which one and i'll make sure it's either up on the screen or down in the description box of the final video of this porch thing <laughs> uh, huh? uh, what? Um, uh, i don't know about that shane uh, i don't know about that you let me worry about the stairs you just stand there and look pretty we're using these i call them staircase shells <laughs> they're just like the edges of the staircase that like you put you use them as support sort of we found them at lowe's i'm using these and shana sawing them down because our porch is at an incline and we have to get those steps even with the porch so we have been using the heck out of a leveler because if we're not careful those steps will start to dip down and be at a slant and we don't want that we're wanting these steps to be as safe as possible for nanny to get up here as many times as she wants to get up here she loves this porch she loves our backyard i want her to be able to get up here easily and to be able to enjoy it and look out in the backyard and spend time with us out here so we've really got to be careful on how we're doing this we're taking our time to make sure those steps are not at a slant and they don't turn into a slide i was actually wanting to do a ramp for nanny but she insisted that i go with the porch length stairs that i originally wanted in my plan so we're gonna go with that but if they end up being too hard i will tear some of those suckers down and make her a ramp i'll do anything for nanny okay so shane's on his way home this evening it's like 4 30 ish and i just got the phone with him and he wants to get started on the porch as soon as he gets home so we've got three major projects we need to get done within the next few days we started y'all saw last night on the steps but we also got the fireplace but we also got the fireplace in today from amazon i'm done today oh i'm out and do bottle just touched my toe 
<laughs> that's all we have. That's all we have. <laughs> the worst stink bug. I don't know if y'all have been keeping an eye out on the farmer side of TikTok. I am on that farmer side of TikTok because my weatherman's always wrong. And I trust the older generation. Uh, when they tell me it's going to snow, I know it's going to snow. They've been around a while. That's why a lot of our older generation in this community is treasured by us. Because y'all know so much. You got wisdom worth gold. And... Our ears are all open over here. We listen to you. I wish so badly when my papa was alive. You know, I was a lot younger whenever he died. But when my papa and memo were alive, I wish so badly I'd ask some questions. Because I would love to know those answers now. So, I've been on the farmer side of TikTok. And they've been talking about how they think with us being in an El Nino, it's going to be a really, really tough winter. Um, they're also seeing a lot of, like, bugs, like caterpillars fuzzy caterpillars and they say that that's an old thing where the old folks used to say that if you start seeing them black fuzzy caterpillars that you know it's going to be a really bad winter we're seeing a lot of rodents change of salt a mouse and lows <laughs> birds are migrating early all those things so i'm thinking why was i even on this oh so a mountain dew bottle rolled across my foot that's where we were going with that it wasn't a rodent it was a mountain dew bottle but that's why i thought it was might have been a rodent <laughs> So far, I ain't seen a rodent. I ain't seen one. <laughs> I hope I don't. It's one of them days. I had a doctor's appointment this morning, and my doctor had me cackling with the story she was telling me about, like going to like this beauty school to get her hair done. And my my doctor is like the best doctor on the planet. <laughs> it feels like every time I go there, I'm meeting up with my besties. Like that's what it feels like. So she had me cackling, and ever since she had me cackling this morning, I have been laughing at literally anything. That's what laughter is good for the soul. Because whenever you're genuinely laughing, I was laughing so hard I can't breathe. I was about to say you're gonna have to prescribe me some albuterol. <laughs> I can't breathe, but it's contagious. And if you start your day out like that, then you find yourself laughing at literally anything, which I laugh all the time anyway. So <laughs> I'm extra laughy right now major projects we need to get done within the next day or two the fireplace because the fireplace was just delivered the beams here we need to get these support beams framed out and trimmed out and make them look really pretty the fireplace we got to do i told you guys a while back over on instagram i ordered some custom pieces it was originally supposed to go in my house but because it was so expensive and i don't want to buy more of it to go in my house because that's what it would need with the running theme if I put it in my house and we had to buy more of it because I like to have the same running theme throughout the main living area of my house I don't want to buy more of it so we're going to put it out here and call it an accent piece and not buy any more of that because it was too daggone expensive third project we need to get done these steps we got the frame pieces measured supported and secured to the porch now we just got to worry about making the steps making the steps sounds a little bit easy but we're doing deck lots <laughs> i ordered deck lots off of amazon i'll put them right here these are the kind that i got they were pretty much raved about on amazon and they were pretty affordable for 10 packs so those are the ones that i got they're mini recessed deck lots i'm super excited because we've never worked with recessed sliding outside but you don't have to wire them into like a light source like this they have a plug-in it would have been more ah uh, and scary if it was had been recessed i got like that flash strap i like to call that barn house <laughs> it would have been more scary if we had to wire it into the electrical out here because y'all know we shane's got a lot of experience in electrical here recently but still you know things like that we like to have uh supervision by a professional whenever we do stuff like that so a lot of times i may not say it same with my contractor friend when we were starting to talk about demoing the walls in there i had the professional come in and be like marina you can do this and you cannot do this if you do this it's gonna fall my electrical friends i have a couple of friends who are electricians and i'm always I'm like hey how do i do this or can i do this a lot of those friends i've actually made here on youtube they're actually subscribers friends that have turned into friends that i can actually consult about things like that they've been here a long time probably since 500 subscribers like that's a long time <laughs> they've tolerated me a long time but i've gotten really good friends out of it because i can hit them up and be like hey is this possible or hey i'm unsure how to do this i've watched a couple of youtube videos directions still aren't clear to me i can't seem to grasp it how do i do this and a lot of times they'll walk me through it or they'll come show me how to do it the stairs the fireplace and the beams are the three projects that really need to get done in the next couple of days because tomorrow this is my weekly layout okay I'm so busy I can't breathe. <laughs> so today I had my doctor's appointment 
and we had our other appointments that I don't talk about on here for privacy reasons with the kiddos. Just so my, you know, my kids, I keep their stuff private. I don't ever speak on their stuff or anything like that. I don't talk about them and their academics. I don't talk about them and their medical plan. All that is private. I refuse to put that on the internet. That is a line that Shane and I drew a long time ago and I will not cross it. I don't mind showing, you know, bits and pieces of my kiddos having fun, enjoying life. But as far as the primary content on this channel, my kids haven't ever been the primary content and they never will be the primary content. I hate it because you guys do feel like friends to me, but when you put something out there on the internet, it's out there forever. And even though my kiddos have been like, mommy, you can share that, I don't care. I tell them all the time, I'm not, I'm not sharing that. I know you want me to share that, but I can't share that because you're telling me yes, but you really can't tell me yes. You're competent, but to a childlike standard. You can't literally give consent if you're not 18 or older. So I had my appointment, other appointments today. Tomorrow, we have family pictures. The next day, we have karate. The next day, we have karate tournament. <laughs> the next day, <laughs> we have Colton's birthday. The next day... We have gymnastics. I have something going on every day. <laughs> I have something going on every day. So that's why these videos are coming in so slow. I've got to kind of piece in stuff. As Shane and I both, we got to work around each other's schedules in order to get this stuff done. Starting in October, I did promise two plus videos a week. So I've kind of got my filming schedule mapped out so that I can be working on something at all times and get at least two things done a week to show you guys. You guys saw us kind of play with these pillars. I just wanted to farmhouse them up a little bit. Y'all know that I'm in love with the modern farmhouse look. I'm in love with the modern farmhouse. I'm not as rustic farmhouse anymore, but I'll always be something farmhouse. I might be like bougie farmhouse, but it's going to be something farmhouse. So in the last video, y'all saw us play a little bit with the pillars. We didn't really even screw anything in. We were just playing with designs at that point and, what, and figuring out what I really wanted. Y'all saw us do the skeleton of the fireplace. And y'all saw us kind of talk about the porch length steps a little bit. Now we're actually getting to working on some of these things. We're starting with the fireplace and we're going to move on from there. So an issue we're running with right now, an issue we're dealing with, we're running with it too. An issue we're dealing with right now, as you guys saw in the last video, we actually framed this out before the fireplace insert got here, just to save us on time. It's a little smaller than the dimensions it says it is. Yeah, we did it by the exact dimensions that the website said it was. So I don't know if it was maybe judging off the front of it or the back of it, but in order to get this snug, it's definitely gotta be tighter than what we had it. So we're adding support pieces, much like we did here in the bottom corners, we're adding support pieces. That way the front platelet is up against the wood and the beams like it's supposed to be. We've also gotta add some two by fours here for later whenever we put a TV up here. TV's probably not gonna be up there anytime soon. Probably gonna do like a fall wreath or something. But later, we definitely want to do some football games out here. My dad's really excited about that, so Timmy's excited about it too. <laughs> He's speaking at you. I was talking to my dad, and he was like, oh, I'm super excited to have football games, to watch football games out there. So that's definitely going to be, that's the whole reason I want to put TV out here, basically, because I'm getting into football right now. You ain't getting into football. <laughs> I'm getting into football. You We're are, getting into the Kansas Chiefs right now. You are in the love affair of Taylor Swift and Kels, Kels, Kelsey. Kelsey. Don't disrespect him like that. Kelsey. He was, <laughs> she did not introduce him. He's already been introduced. He's played two Super Bowls. Anyway, I've been wanting to watch Kansas Chiefs, so I gotta give me an ESPN uh, thing. I don't know. It's like basically watching an autumn rom-com but like in real person and I'm I you know I love reading so I'm always reading like the in the fall I'm reading like the autumn rom-coms sometimes not really a fan of rom-coms but autumn books so it feels like a book that I'm watching like play out in real life oh, this is cool. I don't even like Taylor Swift I don't even really like Kelsey well I do like Kelsey now but I didn't I didn't like either of them but I like them together so <laughs> So I'm going to be watching the Kansas Chiefs She's now. just glad to see that. And we're going to be watching it out here. She's finally moved on and she's done with me. She's finally left the restaurant, huh? Yeah, finally. Help. Hey, I'm look. stuck in the restaurant. We got to touch on last time, right? Yeah, so this a... comes with a plate that we can put in and we can actually run the wire through it. Yeah. Push it. There we go. That's how you do it. Right on. I hope that's how you do it. Oh no! Oh, 
was that? Diamonds. We got diamonds? Let me see. Does that go in the bottom of it? Wow, this touchstone one is so different than the other one that we had. The old uh, single wire. Right. This is an external uh, one. But they went all out. We got a bag of like fake crystals here. Cool. You know what it looks like when it's lit? What? I don't know. What it looks uh, like when it's lit. I was going to say. I forgot. Uh, I just realized I forgot to look at what it looks like when it's lit. I just love the word crystals for one thing. Hmm. Uh, Napoleon Dynamite getting ready to use the uh, time machine. Wait. I forgot to put in the crystals. I wonder what this is going to look like. Lit up. Movie time. It was really hard to find one, so I took whatever I could get because this is the only external fireplace insert I could find on the internet. I even recruited Shane to help. Usually I find everything on my own and I design everything on my own. I kind of put it all together and then he actually puts it all together. I had to recruit his help find a fireplace insert that's external because you can't hardly find them on the internet. So that's what we're doing right now. We're securing it. We're also adding more 2 by 4s to hang a TV on later on. We're also going to add another support beam back here and a support beam on the back because on the back it's going to be shiplap because I don't have enough of the faux stone we're using to do the back area of the fireplace. So this is why I have faux stone. I originally got it to go through my house. I don't know if I told you guys this. I think I did, but I think I edited it out the other day because I was trying to make the video shorter because I don't ever know if you guys want really, really long videos or not so usually if it's really long like I try to edit stuff out that I find unnecessary or something to make it shorter but I think I said it but I think I edited it out that yeah. I got the stone and I got it for the inside of the house but yeah. I had to order it custom basically yeah. and they make it for your order so it took them five weeks to for like the production and the shipping and everything like that I was waiting on it forever it got here and I realized how small it really was. I was like, I'm, I can't use this throughout the whole house like I want to as my accent because it's so expensive. Like, y'all, I bought four panels and I was like, this is crazy. Like, it used over half my budget. It was basically $700 for four, four panels. See, I didn't want to do contact paper because I... I, well, I love doing contact paper, and the rock contact paper I had in the single wide looked really real. It really did on camera. Well, the best way you can get something to look real is if, like, you actually do the real thing, <laughs> unless you buy it custom for $700. <laughs> so, I can't afford to go buy another batch of four panels for $700. Four panels is barely going to cover this front, maybe the sides. I might even have to ship lap the sides, but I refuse to buy any more of that. Um, cause I had to literally move a lot of my living room budget over to the porch budget and I don't like moving envelopes around like that. So we're going to do the stone out here. It's going to be the only thing stone out here for right now. We've got really big plans for the house. Like I'm talking huge external makeovers for the house and I may have to get some more of that to kind of let it flow out here. But for right now, I ain't buying no more of that. I will link it down below. Y'all can see the crazy prices. It's insane and I do not recommend it because while it is beautiful, it's it, expensive. It is expensive. It's, it's beautiful, but really, I have a theory that you could literally get the stone pavers, you know, those square stone pavers that have like the stone marks in it that you can get on Lowe's. They're plastic for like 12 bucks. You can get those put it on a piece of plywood because that's basically what this stuff is on it's like plywood slash cardboard put that on a piece of cardboard and then fill it up with joint compound let it dry for like 48 hours take it off and then paint it to look like stone i've literally thought about trying that because that's basically what it feels like and everything the texture of it it feels like you could have done something like that much like the brick but stone with the joint compound so if this ends up being shipped left on the sides and the back then you know why it's because bag on 700 dollars four pieces of plywood with faux rock on it. I didn't just have $700 laying around either to get the stone with. What I did was, if y'all remember when I lived back in the single wide, I had been saving up for like a year and a half, two years, something like that, probably even longer, for a building to go outside because we had very little storage in the trailer park. I used that money for the building for the stone pieces which you can understand why I was so kind of like, I even told Instagram, I was like this is a mess because my custom pieces came basically like that they, they're not worth $700 in my opinion they're not worth $700 so I used the money for 
the building that I saved up for while we were in the trailer park. A lot of the stuff that we're starting out doing, it's from different envelopes that I had. We used a lot of our savings to get into this house. We had to pay stuff down. You know, we had to pay closing costs and down payment and appraiser and all that stuff to get in our house. So a lot of our savings account went into this house. I couldn't pay for the down payment or the closing costs of the envelope because in order to have like all that stuff paid, you have to have, um, I'm itching. In order to pay all that stuff, you have to have season money, which is money that's been in the bank for like two months. Edit so that nobody's confused. I did have two envelopes by mistake for the building funds. So I used one of those envelopes to kind of go towards everything I needed to get into this house. And then the other one is going to go for things in this house. Sometimes I got mixed up with my envelopes and sometimes I had two going at the same time. I don't keep my envelopes in the house. So I'll start an envelope and I'll forget what it's for. And I'll start that same envelope over again because I don't have those in my house. And I can't always look at them to see what I got going on. Be done. So we just moved it over and now it's sitting there waiting for the projects in the double wide to be made over. I did add some of the envelope money into the bank. If you're new here and you don't know what I'm talking about, I do all my home makeovers by the envelope saving system. So I start an envelope and I save on it, whether it be six weeks, six months, two years. <laughs> and that's how I keep a makeover continually going in my home. It's a little bit different here because they're much bigger makeovers than they were at the trailer, the trailer park. But they're also more expensive than they were at the trailer in the trailer park. So I'm having to do things a little bit differently, but things are still getting done and I'm still using that system to get them done. I used to be horrendous with money, like absolutely horrible with money, and I'm still not a Dave Ramsey. <laughs> so the envelope saving method has helped me actually save money. It's how I kind of got all of my savings accounts everywhere started. It's also held me accountable for the things that I'm saving for. I don't go dipping in it for no Burger King whopper or anything like that it holds me accountable and it keeps me on track and i needed that seeing how bad i used to be with money so that's why i stand i stand the envelope method it's time to actually attach the frame that we built to go inside of the fireplace frame so we're attaching it but we're also having to take some supports down because we did them wrong shane did a support from the very top to the very bottom where we have that split and that two by four is like splitting it off. And so we forgot that a fireplace needed to go there. So Shane had to literally cut down those supports, add new supports. We were kind of, I don't know what we were thinking whenever we did the supports from top to bottom and had nowhere to put a fireplace. I will go on and say though, this fireplace insert looks like it's up higher than my last one because we're going to have a hearth. So I needed area to put that hearth underneath the fireplace itself. So it does look odd right now without the hearth but once we get the hearth on there and like it attached and everything, it'll look a lot better. You can see right now is when we're making the uh-oh. <laughs> That's where the uh-oh is the run theme of these videos. But we're making that because we're attaching the long ones. He's gonna eventually, you're gonna see him cut these down so we can actually fit the fireplace in this fireplace built. We got time on our side. We're in a state of hope. I need you on my fire. with the crystals but we put in the crystals. could have used this log thing it came with both options thumbnail normally normally <laughs> i would have used this but shane said that he liked the crystal look for outdoors so we used the crystals i forgot to put in the crystals
actually hanging this up here. This stuff requires not only pin nails, but it uh, like constructive adhesive, adhesive too. So we were just putting it up here to kind of get a visual of what it would look yes. like up here. I am not impressed with this stuff. Absolutely no. not. No. Not only is it absolutely, and I never do this on my channel, guys. I never do this on this channel. Because I, I try to give everybody the benefit of the doubt. But this stuff right here, absolutely not. The quality with how it looks. Yeah, I, I never say stuff like this on my channel. But that's... I, mm, not cool, man. No. Would, zero out of zero. Would never recommend. The way that you have to puzzle piece this together, there's an inevitable seam. It would be very difficult to cover this seam up. Like, mm, I don't know how I'm going to do that. If cardboard and the foam poster board from Dollar Tree had a baby. And I promise I'm not being mean. It's not my nature to be mean. That is not worth the money I paid for it. So this is a piece <clears throat> that I just pulled out of the styrofoam. And uh, it was already broken. And the funny thing is, the broken piece isn't in the box. So it wasn't broken in the mail on the way here. Mm -hmm. It was broken in the facility okay so let's and they just some, stuck it in the box the way it, the way this is let's do some math okay because they got me they got me on a roll now let's do some math seven hundred dollars is what i paid for this divided by four that is a hundred and seventy five dollars trying to find nice things to say um the design is i uh, I hate badly reviewing people and companies. I really hate it. I don't like it. But I don't want y'all seeing us do this and then thinking that, you know, oh, it's a great product and I'm going to go get it. Um, above my hatred for negatively reviewing things, I, I, I have a level of... Um, What's the word? Respect when it comes to YouTube. People listen. They value my opinion on things. And I could not in good conscience recommend that. And and me saying things like that is exactly why I don't do sponsors. Because I do hate really bad to negatively review something. I really do. Because you don't know how much work this company's put into designing this thing. And I, But at the end of the day... But you do not get. Wah, 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 wah. You don't get what you pay for. You don't. Get, in this instance, you don't get what you pay for. With this specific product, from this specific company, you do not get what you pay for. Um. They did really great on the colors. There's something nice. I can, <laughs> they did really great on the color scheme. The color scheme, it looks pretty identical to what it looks like online. Very pretty neutral colors. Very very beautiful. Like I said, you can tell that they really thought about the design of this. It's just. Now let's see how well it cuts. We're gonna see how well it cuts. What is that on the back? Let me let me just ask. Look, this. The, none of the other ones have that on the back. What is that? This. Yeah. Is awesome that? Stuff. It looks like paint or something. Negativities aside, it is a very pretty product. I mean, they got the colors out really good. Like, it, it looks really pretty in person. It doesn't really come off on camera as it does in person, but it does look pretty in person, and the texture really does add something to it. And it also does really cut easily. It didn't give us a hard time when we were cutting it. So those are two positives when it comes to this, is it is pretty and it does cut easily. You got scammed, girl. You gonna rub that in for a while? No, I'm just not gonna be nice to them. You can be. We always are nice to people. It doesn't matter. It don't no. It don't matter if they sent us styrofoam stones. You're still nice to them. I, I just said the company. No, in general. no. no it doesn't them. matter what the. It don't matter it, if they don't didn't teach even, me a lesson, mom. If they didn't even send us nothing at all, you'd still be nice about it. Yes, ma'am. You can say you don't like it, but you can say it in a in a nice way. Yes, ma'am. So let me show you guys what I was going. What I was telling you guys about earlier. The pavers, okay. So hear me out. They look like this. Let me show you. They look like that. 
which is a very similar style not exact to the stone that I have here but it's a stone nonetheless it's a stone stone design nonetheless the thing about it is is when you put concrete in it you can make little walkways like that right this is what I'm thinking like look how cute like that that's beautiful this is what I'm thinking spray it down with Pam like you know butter spray olive oil something like that put it on a piece a very thin piece of plywood fill it up with joint compound let it sit for 48 hours maybe less and then you would have that design for a total of like less than 45 bucks of course then you'd have to buy the, the stuff like paint and stuff the first round but then you would have that for later rounds and it would be the same quality as this stuff because I'm always anytime I do something that's a little pricey I'm always thinking like okay how can I modify this in a more budget friendly way in case that this is out of somebody else's budget so whenever I bought this stuff I was already thinking well how can I this is really expensive how can I create sort of the same vibe and go for the same thing so that my people on a smaller budget can can do basically the same thing so I'm always trying to find a way to get the best of both worlds as Hannah Montana said you get the best of both worlds so I started thinking about that when I ordered these and I had to wait five weeks for them to get here like five weeks or something for production time and shipping time but I started thinking, I was like, I bet you anything, because we did that with the brick in my last trailer. Remember, we did the faux brick with the joint compound, yeah, except for we used tape. See, tape isn't thick enough. Because tape is a small word. I might try it with tape, too. And, I really, really and if you wanted to do renter friendly, you could do it on foam board from Dollar Tree. I'm just saying. Just saying. Shane is working on the steps real quick while I try to figure out what in the heck we're doing with this thing right here. So obviously I'm trying to use this stuff as best as I can with it not being as good of quality as we anticipated and with there not being enough of it, it's it, we're finding it really, really hard to, to work with it. So I'm trying to design a fireplace for the 50th time. This is like the 50th time I've designed this thing. I just got on Instagram and I was like, y'all remember how I said this was going to be the third and final video of the porch series? Can we just like forget I said that? Because <laughs> I'm drowning over here, y'all. I'm drowning. I refuse to rush or force a video though because at the end of the day, the whole reason these videos are coming to you guys is because I'm making over my home. And I'm not making over my home just for content like I'm making over my home because I want it to look beautiful for my family I want to take pride in it because it is a gift from God I want I want to be thankful for it because and grateful for it I want to take care of it because it is a gift from God I should say and along with that comes you know structural stuff as well as making it look pretty I don't think there's anything wrong with wanting to take pride in something not be be proud and um have pride like in yourself but sort of have pride they're not really pride but sort of you know have pride in what god's given you like take take good care of it you know what i'm saying so that's the whole re <laughs> really are you edging me on so while you guys are going to be watching him make these steps and finish up these steps i'm going to be in the background and i'm going to be designing this into a totally different thing trying to repurpose some of this wood over here that isn't rotten from the previous deck the deck we tore down trying to see if i can get enough of that wood to do a design on here something i'm going to be working on it so you're going to see shane making the steps we got our neighbors are working on their house too so you're going to hear a lot of a lot of sauce today <laughs> uh so what i'm working on right here is we're pretty much ready to start putting steps on but before i can put the steps on uh the middle areas need a middle support where the steps are gonna come together like how we did here so we're pretty much ready to put the steps on but where the steps you know we don't have 14 feet long steps so that we got to come in the middle like we did on the deck so in order to do that i have to have a middle piece in between for them to screw down and they're not gonna buckle or anything like that i've already got two cut this is my third one and then i'll need a fourth one Good day's work. Let's head home, boys. It's in the system. It's in our blood. You cannot keep me from looking for love. Don't want to hide it. Ain't gonna lie. I'm on the run till the day.
None of this is a part of the stairs that you will see. All of this is for support. other parts were basically the bones of the stairs so the internal parts now you're seeing the external parts and you're about to see us put the recessed sliding in he's making a step on top of a step just for added support and then we're also doing like a t-shape underneath each step so they can support my big honey in <laughs> we'll have these plans as well as the fireplace plans and all that stuff in that video i was telling you guys about so don't worry if you're liking these and you like the way that they look then stay tuned because in the next video or a video soon we'll have all the plans so you you can look at it and maybe do it yourself. While we do have a 10 pack of lots, we're only using nine. We're doing three on each row and we're having to do them in the center like i mean like even apart right and so it was hard to not go off the skeleton because the skeleton isn't exactly even because we had to add support places in different places because it's at such an incline so we had to measure from the external parts that you guys will see and it was hard to not go off the internal parts like the shell and everything it was throwing us off because we thought we were not having it even and then we we're like oh is it supposed to be farther apart or closer together we finally figured out an easy way to get the the middle part and that was turning it into threes so like dividing this long stretch into three and then find the middle of each third and that helped a whole lot we also got the middle of the plank by measuring the thickness of it and then getting that exact middle spot so that we could put the recessed lighting right there smack dab in the middle so can you figure out what i'm gonna say yet the running theme of this video is summed up in one word uh-oh uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. We made a uh-oh or uh-oh this happened. So we were working, happily working, and making some strides in the stairs. Please don't walk the we were making some strides with the stairs. And then we, you guys saw us uh, insert the recess lighting. Would you like to tell them what happened next? So, do you guys remember those nifty little shells we built in the single wide? And how... It just didn't have long enough cords. Well, maybe the same thing happened here. Now, <laughs> Do you now get deja vu? to remedy this, we did order extensions. We just ordered them they, before we ate dinner. They will be here in a couple days. But we're stuck with one step. <laughs> one step and two lots. This deck is killing me. <laughs> It's gonna look beautiful when I'm done with it. And we're, it's, it's a me. blessing. And and this and I never want anybody to think we're complaining. We're not. But a part of us sharing our journey with you is sharing the ugly parts and the not so fun parts. And this is this is what it is. So when I'm voicing my honest, it's not ever me complaining. I'm grateful for it. I'm grateful to have a porch to be working on right now, a house to be working on right now. It's just I like to show you guys every step of the way. And that's what I'm also doing. These kind of update mobile home update videos so you guys are seeing in real time us working on things as we go along and then at the end i'll kind of like compile it all together and really break down things that we done and how we did it so you get the whole experience but in these behind the scenes videos where you're seeing step by step as we go you really get to see what goes wrong what happens how we fix something lessons we learn for a fourth or fifth or sixth time i mean you get to see all of those things i much prefer doing videos this way in this mobile mansion monday series I, I really like doing this because it does give me a chance to kind of 
stop what we're doing and, and about to ruin the, the image of the style, style that you used, used to. to. It gives me time to stop and like explain what's going on or what went wrong or what's going good or stuff like that. So we're going to put a hold on these daggone steps <laughs> and we're going to move to the next project and hopefully there's not an oh moment. Hopefully not cry. <laughs> Fireplace or pillars? Your pillars. choice. We're going to work on these because I can get the pillars done. What we'll just have to try to do on this one Move this. Get out of here, you wonderful piece of stone that was made with <laughs> love, and I appreciate the hard work that was put into this creation. But maybe you should get another. Shane. Anyway, so he did not mean that. Just new... say stone that's not our cup of tea. That's all you gotta say. Well, stone that's that not our cup of tea. Cup of coffee. Okay, cup of let's tea, go. Cup let's of milk. go. We gotta do it. Yeah, but how? So Shane's not wanting to work on the pillars now. <laughs> he wants to work on one pillar, um, but because this is why. This right here we have to keep open so we can get back there and wire those steps whenever those um, additional pieces for the lighting gets here Tuesday. So we can't cover this part up because this is our entrance into wiring those steps in. So that means this area is open and Shane doesn't want to just sit a piece of wood there to kind of get a gauge of how we could build out the pillar he doesn't want to touch it until the, we do this. Well, the only reason is because I may have to put some supports for my steps. as Because how I'm working is I'm working bottom up. Mm -hmm. And by working bottom up, that allows me, if I need to put a leg or a support, I can do that and I can reach under there. What if we do this? What if? Uh-oh, times three. We just changed plans three times in three minutes. Okay, so here is what I designed. This is my drawing, by the way. Shane's drawings are always better. <laughs> He's like Picasso, and I'm like pistachio, like I can't do it. So this is what I had at first. And then I went in with the green to kind of fix some things, like the center beam here I thought we might do. And then a hearth, which Shane calls hearth, which is supposed to be called hearth, um, right there. So now, since we're not doing the stone up here, I'm going to go in, and I'm going to kind of do a amended version for the third time with purple. Shane does a much better job at drawing out the plans than I do, but he was so busy tackling things that we needed to get done on the porch that he couldn't take it to his tablet. He usually puts it on his iPad in his little like artist, it's like Adobe software or something like that. On I don't even know what it's called, but he uses it for his art and to illustrate the books that he's illustrating. So he puts it on that and then he draws it out and he has a whole diagram going and it's so like well thought out and everything. He didn't have time to do this because he was working hard on the porch. So I was out here drawing with markers <laughs> and doing it all my style <laughs> fearfully created style and kind of just doing the best I can because I'm not a very artistic person at all and so I went in and amended it once with a green highlighter and then now I'm going in with a purple highlighter and doing another amendment and trying to make this area where all the stone is that you see right there trying to figure out if I want to do shiplap if I want to do herringbone what way I want the boards facing do I want them arrowed down arrowed up trying to figure out what I think would look best but it's really hard when I'm not a visual person. I can't see things on paper like I, I can see them in my mind. It's hard for me to put it on paper. So I'm just doing the best that I can and kind of highlighting with purple everywhere that's going to be sort of wood. I'm going to try to repurpose the some of the wood from the porch that we had to demo. I don't know if any of it's going to be salvageable, but I'm going to try my best because the budget is screaming right now. I'm pushing that budget and I never go over budget, so I'm really nervous at this point. I'm, I'm excited to deal with this because it's, it's giving rustic. <laughs> it's giving rustic. This is why we only temporarily hung this because I already wasn't confident in this stuff when we got it. And so whenever we temporarily hung it up there to see what it would look like, I knew we were probably going to end up taking it down at least off of this top segment of the fireplace. So I'm glad that we didn't adhesive it to the 2 by 4 I'm definitely glad we didn't use any adhesive or glue or anything because that would have been a terrible mess. That would have been another uh-oh. The billionth uh-oh of this video. Shane's working on the pillar now. and What he's doing, he's just boxing in that small support beam that was there because I wanted it to look thicker. You can see my, my kids and my dad playing with a drone that Colton got for his birthday. My Colton was going, hit the emergency brake, Papa! Hit the emergency brake! And dad didn't know how to use it, so they were trying to catch it before it broke. <laughs> but Shane is just boxing this out, and I wanted them thicker because that's that modern farmhouse look, right? A lot of thick woods 
and things like that. So I was going for a thicker look, so he just boxed it around it. It didn't really give it any more added support or anything. It was really just a cosmetic thing. And there was a little bit of miscommunication because he did. He always does Lowe's trip runs, so he goes and gets the lumber, and I told him I wanted trim, and he got something else. So I don't know what exactly we're gonna use to trim out the pillars, but I know that I trust him. He will do great. He does great at whatever he touches, so I'm not worried about that at all. He'll do his Shane magic on it, and it'll be fine. He's also doing a frame, like a picture frame, above the fireplace here because I want it to look very clean cut up here because I really wanted stone up here. And I'm kind of upset that I can't have stone up here, but we're just going to roll with the punches and do what we can. Okay, so here's what we got going on. Hopefully, the next time you see this fireplace, this will be done. Um, Shane decided to go down with the arrow. Um, uh, did you want it going up? Yeah, I had it uh. down up. <laughs> it's okay though it looks good i think you did you know i think you did a better job because i think it does look good it looks different going down everybody has one going up <laughs> i'm serious but it looks really good i'm really excited so you want me to flip it no it looks really good i'm not i swear like that was a good call on your part i'm I'm telling you it was a really good call are you sure that was a good call yes i'm complimenting because... you i'm not being um funny like yeah that was funny but i'm not being funny okay that was a really good call things I mean, I that we got done this week because you guys know these are weekly updates i show you what we get done in a week sometimes it's a lot sometimes it's a lot of uh-ohs and a lot of fixing stuff and <laughs> stuff. But what we got done this week, we got the fireplace put in there, secured and framed out and everything, and the design started. So that's good. Um, we got the pillar over here finished. I don't know what we're doing with trim because, like I said, we had a little bit of a miscommunication. I'll do whatever you want. And I'll do whatever you want. Cut that out, Marie. We did the farmhouse style pillars. I wanted it thicker than a snicker. And it's um, thicker than a snicker. So Shane made it thicker than a snicker. We'll figure out if we're going to trim it or not. We did not get... Oh, we did not get that. to this uh, pillar. Because I was telling you guys, we got to have this area. We got to have this area open. So we can get down there and finish on the steps. So we did get the steps, that bottom step done. And the recessed light lighting in it. So... We got that part done. Like I said, don't be upset. A couple people DM'd me over on Instagram, and I did see a couple of comments asking about plans for all of these projects. And like I said, don't worry. At the end, <sighs> Shane has sawdust on my camera. Don't worry, though, because at the end, when I do the complete beginning to end video that I plan on doing, I will have the complete plans to... I'll have Shane sit down, won't we? Yep. And we will write out the complete plans in case you want the something as simple as the pillars or you want to try a fireplace like this. You want to try the deck lights I'll make and sure to the, leave the porch. things out that didn't work. Yeah, we'll leave the things that didn't work out. That's we're, we're being the guinea pig. But we'll definitely add in what we did to make things work. So we are almost done. Like, almost done with the structure part. We still do have the decorating part to do. Um, but that part's fun, and I'm, I don't dread that at all. I'm actually really excited about it. I'm really excited about the structural part, too, and, like, the design of it, too. It's just taking so long. I had a person message me over on Instagram, and they were really upset that I have, I've been working on it for so long. And I, I apologize, but it's kind of like, you know... If I didn't post these videos, y'all wouldn't have seen me for the past month. If we were waiting to do a complete beginning to end, y'all wouldn't have seen me for a month. And then there would be like a 10 hour long video. So I like doing it this way. I'm sorry if you don't like me doing it this way. It won't always be done this way. There'll be some projects I can start and finish like we used to in the trailer. But we never did something to this extent in the trailer. So that's why this is kind of a new thing that I've had to do. I've had to split it up because I've never, we've never done something as big as this. Uh, the single wide was our training ground and yeah this, is this the like real i mean show. we demo this entire porch y'all like it's been it's been difficult so it won't always take four videos to get a project done but when it's a whole outdoor area like this and we have to do a lot of demo and stuff like that it's, it's going to take some time i apologize if it seems like we're getting them out slow though because we are we're, we're trying to work on it um as much as we can and as thoroughly as we can you guys will start seeing me more often this week though because there will be two videos this week you'll have this video which goes up on a monday and then you'll have a video either thursday or friday I haven't made my mind up on which day i'll be posting um but you'll definitely have two videos maybe more back to normal <laughs> my maybe a bonus video my too i don't know while things did go wrong and we had a lot of o's <laughs> we did make some strides we got the pillar up we got a lot of the fireplace done and we got the bottom step and the recessed lighting put in we did pretty good this week 
Thank y'all for hanging out with me. I hope y'all have a blessed morning or not. Whatever it is or wherever you're at, know that I love you. But Jesus loves you more. Jesus loves you so much more. I'll see y'all later. I'll see y'all in the next one. I'll see y'all sooner than next Monday now. I'll see y'all in just a few days.